Hi, uh, here we will uh, do the practice of uh, dysentery. First, we should know the data set. Uh, data set is having a set of features. You look at here, the first column is the serial number and age is uh, feature number one, sex feature number two. Uh, likewise, we are having the uh, three, six, nine, 12, 13 features. 13 features are there and the target function is uh, the attribute uh, I mean um, output label target is output label so here this is the heart uh, disease data set the person with who is having this values okay age is 63 sex is uh, uh, I mean uh, male right male so here the different uh, ECG values are there based upon that uh, one means disease is affected zero means disease not available okay no not affected Heart disease not affected, this is affected. So this is the uh, information about given data set. Uh, here as usual, uh, we should uh, import the uh, NumPy and the Pandas package. Then I am uh, giving the path, giving the path uh, to the uh, data set, which is assigned to the variable data. Then we are reading the CSV file, uh, then which is assigned to the variable DF data frame then just we are displaying the first five rows of given data set. Uh, now uh, I am assigning the features uh, features uh, into the variable x by dropping the last column, by dropping the last column target. Then now I am checking what is my uh, feature shape dimension. I am having 303 uh, samples, training samples for the x and 13 rows, I mean 13 attributes or, or 13 features, okay, 303 samples with 13 uh, attributes. Then I am assigning the target function that is output label to the variable y. So now what we need, we need uh, x and y, actually we need x and y. So that x and y now which is established uh, for the um, model. So x is representing the here. Uh, here x is representing the features okay uh, x is representing features and y is representing the output label okay so we need only two things one is the features and uh, output label so th this is what we have got now then uh, you check the dimension of the features and uh, output labels we are having the output labels output label is 303 samples with a single column and feature is having 303 samples with 13 attributes now we are uh, splitting the uh, training and testing uh, training and testing uh, data set uh, from the input data set for that we are uh, importing the uh, class train train underscore test underscore split so now uh, here I am uh, splitting training x features, then training or uh, testing features, then uh, from the y, from the y I am splitting training uh, sam training uh, samples and testing samples, output samples. Right now uh, we I am giving one of the uh, condition stratify equal to y stratify equal to y means when we are uh, splitting the uh, y output value y into testing sample testing and uh, training uh, partitions both should have uh, equal number of classes you look at that 25 percentage of uh, zero zero classes and 75 percentage of class one in both testing testing for, for samples and training samples that's why we are using the stratify equal to y in the training uh, output sorry in the output right in the output based upon the output the sample should be the sample should be splitted with 25 percentage of 0th class and 75 percentage of class 1 then i am uh, checking how many number of uh, uh, training uh, samples training samples are 2 to 227 with 13 attributes and the testing samples are uh, 76 samples with 13 attributes so now i have done here i am importing the uh, tree class uh, for a tree package 
for disk entry classifier the disk entry is available inside the tree classifier just i am setting the random state for selecting the uh, number of samples randomly same number of samples every time then here i am training the model i am training the model learner means model okay learner is learning the patterns from the training data set from the training from the training data set which is having the 13 features learning the patterns then it will identify the output that output will be compared with the training uh, already target output is there compared with the target output which is available in the table then we are uh, predicting the predicting the training values so we are computing then finally we are applying the uh, model to predict the testing data set testing data set which is actually 76 number of samples with 13 attributes attributes right so finally uh, after prediction here i am drawing the plot plotting the tree plotting the tree learner is decision tree classifier feature is feature names feature names are number of features 13 features okay all features we are considering you look at here here all features are considering for drawing the decision tree okay all features are considering for the drawing the decision tree the class names number of classes number of classes are 0 and 1 0 and 1 so here without optimization without optimi pruning without pruning my tree structure is this one my tree structure is this one depth of the tree is almost 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the depth of the tree is 9 right accuracy uh, for that i am uh, importing the accuracy and the score and the confusion matrix uh, i am calculating the uh, testing accuracy is 100% but uh, sorry training accuracy is 100% but test testing accuracy is 76% so there, there is uh, variation there is the variation overfitting okay so uh, testing accuracy is less training accuracy is more so there is the overfitting so to avoid that we can apply the pruning approach here i am using the post pruning that is the cost complexity pruning approach uh, here cost complexity pruning approach is i applied on the training samples then it is calculating the alpha values alpha values and impurities already explained in the uh, slides uh, uh, two values which is having impurities and the ccp alpha alphas so here set of ccp alphas alphas are there uh, set of impurity values are there so for this all alpha values uh, uh, we are going to construct the different dysentery classifiers so for suppose if if there is 20 20 alpha values we are going to construct 20 dysentries 20 decision trees from the 20 decision trees you look at here we are going to select best one right last node this is last node 0 0.13319 very right so we are going to construct our uh, decision trees finally which is up which is um, uh, appending all the learners all the learners last node is with 0 0.133 0 0.133 look at here we are Constructing the last uh, decision tree is 0 0.133, right? Now we are plotting the uh, uh, plotting the accuracy score for training and testing data set. Testing data set for all the CCP alpha values for all the CCP alpha values. So here you look at that when your alpha value is 0 0.00, training accuracy is uh, 1.0. But uh, testing accuracy is in between 0 0.75 to 0 0.8. When you are inst increasing the, uh, when you are increasing the alpha values uh, approximately 0 0.08, your training accuracy is uh, in between 0 0.75 to 8, 0 0.8. Uh, here the, it is 0 0.7 almost. When you are increasing the 0 0.13, you see you are getting less than 0 0.6. So this is the a uh, way to uh, know the uh, um, performance of model this is the learning curve this is the learning curve then uh, here i am giving the ccp alpha value 0 0.02 okay here i am applying the post pruning 
zero point zero two. And I apply the zero point zero two. You look at that. My tree depth is very much reduced. Previously, our tree depth is around nine. So here, tree depth is one, two, three, four. Only four levels. So tree depth is very much reduced for the CCP alpha zero point zero two. Uh, and your accuracy is also zero point seven one. So early, early uh, before uh, applying the uh, pruning approach, we are having zero point seven six. But our uh, tree depth is more. Tree depth is more. Here, the accuracy is less, 0 0.71, but we are tree depth is less. Tree depth is less. So now, again, I am checking for another another CCP alpha value, 0 0.12. So for 0 0.12, you see tree depth is only two levels. Only two levels. And uh, 0 0.69 is the accuracy level accuracy is decreased when you are increasing the alpha value so here itself we can come to here you look at the 0 0.12 uh, our alpha value is 0 0.12 accuracy is very much decreased very much 0. Point, around 0 0.7 okay testing accuracy right uh, then here we are checking the constructing of tree also uh, here what I am using, I am uh, using the hyperparameter tuning by applying the grid search CV to the normal decision tree classifier. So here as, as per the criterion, we are having two types of measures, Gini index and entropy, and we can split random way and the uh, best way. Here I am uh, giving the maximum depth 2 to 5, okay. So it will construct the trees 2 to 5, 1 by 1, increasing by step size is 1 by 1. And here minimum number of samples ranges from 1 to 15, which is increasing 1 by 1. Uh, and the minimum number of samples split to 220, 2 to 20, which is increasing 1 by 1. So when you are approach, applying the uh, parameters, cross validation, cross validation is 5, 5 folds. Okay. So when you are applying that, uh, we are getting the uh, best values. Gini index is the best one. Maximum depth of the tree best tree best value is three best value for minimum samples for leaf node four minimum sample split is best value two and splitter is random is the best one when I am using this best values okay best hyperparameter values into the decision tree classifier so you look at that my plot is having uh, tree size tree depth is three okay tree depth is here what we have given. 3 maximum depth is 3 right so these are all leaf nodes last level is leaf nodes okay so here you see our accuracy is increased into 77 percent previously uh, for ccp value 0 0.12 we got 69 here now it is increasing into 77 percentage right when you are applying the hyperparameter tuning grid search cv grid search cv okay so here uh, that is for Gini index. You look at here. Here we are using for Gini index. If my criterion is entropy, just I manually changing criterion is entropy. Uh, the, only I change the criterion. You look at that. The 73 percent previously for Gini index 77 percent for ent for entropy 73 percentage. So from this you can observe the best index best criterion is Gini index for this. Uh, decision tree problem and uh, how do we uh, split best one so here uh, by using the splitting best I, I changed the splitter from random to best when you are applying the best you are again accuracy is 68 percent when you are ap applying the uh, random splitting 73 percent when you are applying the best splitting 68 percent so from this you can observe uh, the uh, random split is better than best split and the confusion matrix which is giving the true positives and the true negatives uh, false positive false negative exactly which is splitting for the training data so that's why you are getting 100 percentage accuracy but for testing data uh, uh, wait uh, for testing data you look at here for testing data right we are getting the accuracy is here 68 percent 68 percentage why because you look at the 21 samples only correctly identified as yes. positive is identified as yes, positive uh, negative is identified as yes, negative but there is the possibility of 
here uh, the false positive is 14 and here uh, false negative okay false negative is 10 okay false positive and false negative are uh, 10 so that's why we are our accuracy is very less right so finally um, uh, here uh, how to improve the model by imp by improving the model uh, one of the approaches here we can maintain the dictionary to uh, add the uh, Im uh, add I mean uh, to add the weights to add the weights for imbalanced data because our samples may have uh, um, uh, imbalanced data set that means uh, 10 percentage of uh, one class and 90 percentage of another class in this case we can use this approach so here we are uh, trying to get the uh, weights so weight for class 1 0 0.455 weight for class 0 0 0.544 okay so these values are using in the uh, training the model class weights so by applying that uh, our accuracy is still we are uh, getting 0 0.77 so earlier we our accuracy is 0 0.76 now we are getting 0 0.77 so this is the difference when you are using the weights when you are using the weights to improve the uh, decision tree model so with this i conclude the session I, I, I think it will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.